I just took took off. I voted uh, my voting sticker for you guys. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, it is day two in the five day challenge. Um, the uh, freedom from food five day challenge. Uh, losing weight in a helping with emotional eating. So I wanted to just hop on here really quick to see how you guys are doing. Um, the homework or the exercises to do uh, last night and today was going to was um, to um, find out your why. Has anyone has anyone had a chance to do that? You have, you know, all week to do that. But I wanted to check in and encourage you to uh, make sure you're doing that. And I wanted to see what you guys were coming up with. Um, I think right now my why for, um, for eating healthy and uh, keeping up with my exercise is that my kids are uh, in their mid to early 20s and oh my gosh, my daughter is getting married. My baby is getting married. Um, my son is already married. I have a wonderful daughter-in-law, and my daughter's getting married in November. So I want to look good for the wedding, and um, I could have grandbabies like any who knows any day, any year. And um, kind of like what I was saying yesterday, I want to make sure I can run around with them, and that I'm I'm not out of breath, and I have energy to take them to the to the park and um, help babysit and stuff. So anyway, that's really my motivation too. Um, in, and it's just to um, keep up with life, honestly, uh, the best I can. So I wanted to check in with you guys. Um, hi, doctor. Hi. And uh, see if you guys had a chance to find out your why. And if you have, um, I'd like to know, you know, did you discover anything that maybe you didn't know or um, you know was there anything special that you discovered you know going uh, why and going a little deeper and deeper so let us know in the comments first of all say hi let me know you're here and um, if you're catching it on the replay go ahead and put hashtag replay we'll say hi to you um, ask any questions you had from yesterday but I was just wondering um, if anyone had a chance to find out their why and if so, if you would want to share, you don't have to, because that can be very personal. Um, the other thing is, did you find, um, when you looked at your diet, did you find anything, uh, any one food that you eat a lot of that maybe you want to uh, substitute uh, something else for, and that kind of thing. What I have found is um, I do love to go for chocolate in the evening after dinner. And so some things I have tried um, to do is, um, I don't know, has anyone had like used frozen bananas for ice cream? Anyone tried that? So, if you like bananas, it's so good. Now for diabetics, it's probably not the, not the thing you wanna do. There'd be a lot of natural sugar in there, but if your body can handle that, um, it is so good and you can also mix in like a little bit of peanut butter which would have some protein and some pretty good fats in it depending on what kind you buy um, if you buy the natural peanut butters they're usually pretty good um, so you can mix some things in there maybe some nuts and some fruit and you can have you know some um, maybe some berries berries are a little more uh, lower glycemic and so if you mix some other proteins and good fats in there, it does help with the glycemic index of bananas. But anyway, I love that and I feel like I'm getting a treat and I'm getting fiber. Um, if I'm getting sugar, at least it's natural, but I'm getting the fiber, the potassium, and all the vitamins and minerals in the bananas. That's one of my favorite things. Another thing I found, um, oh, frozen grapes are awesome, thank you frozen grapes in the summer. That's a great idea. Very yummy. Um, another thing I like, there's a recipe I found and maybe I'll try to find it and post it. Um, I forget, I might have found it on eatingwell.com, but it was a 
and this would be great for cookouts or and parties in the summer it's called a uh, watermelon pizza and y you um, you get a watermelon and you slice it um, you know not lengthwise of course but you slice it long ways and so then you have like a disc of a, of a watermelon and you put it on a plate and you can put, you can drizzle like um, low fat vanilla yogurt on it and then add some uh, nuts or I just add some toppings to it like that and it becomes this really yummy um, fruit dessert. So that's, that's another idea. And another thing I love to do is baked apples with some cinnamon on them. I think it they are so good. And I'll give you, I actually have a product on my website where it's it's an apple, um, here, let me, let me go on here and see what they call it. It's an apple, it's just called an apple baker. And I have one, at, I have one here at home. Mine's really big, this is a smaller version. And you guys, if you put, it's um, ceramic and you put your apple in the baker you can slice the apple and have it in two or whatever. You put it in the baker in the microwave for, oh gosh, one apple would probably just take a few minutes and you have this awesome apple dessert and the natural um, juices and sugars come out and it's such a yummy dessert and it's so much healthier than you know a lot of things that you could have. You know, yesterday we did the exercise, the McDonald's meal versus the sandwich that you make, um, ooh, the sun's out. <laughs> The sandwich that you make um, at home, and it it saved you almost 1,300 calories, if I remember correctly. It was crazy. So I wanted to give you some dessert ideas, also something. Um, anybody else, if you have any ideas on a healthy dessert, doesn't have to be fruit. Um, I love the frozen grapes. That's so, especially for summer. It's a great idea. I love it. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and encourage you and see how everybody's doing on their why and uh, switching out their foods. I also want to uh, tell you a little bit about tomorrow. You want to tune in. Now I made tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow a 6 p.m. Uh, Facebook Live and I did that in case I wanted to mix it up. Um, salt, lemon juice on apples. Ooh, that sounds good chili powder there you go something to spice it like a little sweet and spicy that sounds really yummy I'll have to try that that sounds really good um, yeah I, mean, I was thinking tomorrow yeah we're gonna do this at 6 p.m. because I and then Friday's gonna be at noon again but I wanted to mix it up a little bit in case the evenings were better for people to catch me um, because you know everyone uh, it's better for maybe people that are working during the day and can't get on here. You can always see the replays at any time, of course, which is a nice thing. Um, tomorrow we start with the mindset work. We're, we're going into, and, and um, Wednesday's session is going to build on the rest of the week. So it gets really fun here. Um, it gets really fun. We're going to start with the mind, how the mind is different than uh, then the brain and how the two affect each other, how food affects the mind and brain, how the mind affects what we choose to eat. It's, it's amazing. So I'm going to get into that tomorrow. Um, some other fun things to, to back all that up. We're going to have a little bit of homework again um, tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And I think it's going to be a lot, it's going to be very empowering. So um, be sure to stay tuned the rest of the week. Uh, tomorrow is at 6 p.m. And again, if you miss any of these, uh, you can see them on the replay. The other thing is someone on, on my, um, my Instagram page, Seeds of Change on Instagram, she said, hey, Lori, I don't get on Facebook. Is there any way I can see this? And I thought, hmm, how can I do this? So I was going to try to put these videos on Instagram on IGTV I just I think it's just too limited so I somehow um, with my medium technology knowledge and ability I got it on YouTube so I put the video from yesterday the live video on YouTube 
and I think it was an, an act of the moon and the stars aligning. So anyway, I'm going to try to post all these up there too, um, just for another place for people to uh, go. So if you know someone that would really like to uh, join the challenge, but they don't have, they're not on Facebook. Uh, send them to YouTube. I can put the link here also, but I, I'm hoping that I can put the rest of the videos up there. So I'll keep you posted on that. I'm going to try this one again today. Uh, the shorter videos are, of course, a lot easier to do than the longer ones. But anyway, um, there's some ideas for you. I wanted to encourage you. Uh, go ahead and in this group, ask questions. Um, give people ideas you know recipe ideas it doesn't have to be dessert it doesn't have to be fruit uh, if you make say a, a different version of lasagna or something like that that you would love to share with people please put it in the comments we're all here to support each other and since yesterday was about you know switching out food so I, I think a lot of it is about texture and so like the frozen ice cream I feel like the consistency of the frozen bananas if you don't mush them up too much they they are they have the texture of ice cream and when you start adding adding some crunchy things in it you don't feel deprived you know so if you have any recipe ideas like that please share with the group throughout the week that would be fantastic um, that's great so I think that's it all I had for today but stay tuned tomorrow we're we'll really get into mindset work and um, you know, our emotions all come from there and in our heart and all kinds of things. So tomorrow really gets, we get started on that and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm getting, I'm going to be adding some more worksheets to the group. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned 6 p.m. tomorrow and um, let your friends know that you could, they can still come in. I'm going to keep these videos up for a little bit uh, in the group open for a little bit. So invite friends who you think might enjoy it and it's not just about um, emotional eating it's it's also about lasting habit change and when you can harness your emotions while you're making the lifestyle habit change my gosh that's that's when it starts to last you know what I mean and and knowing your your why why am I doing this? That keeps you motivated as well um, as you are challenged in situations and you just want to give up. And also that's why I think doing this in a group is so valuable because we can encourage each other, you know? So uh, anyone who would just like to learn about lasting lifestyle changes, that's really the bottom line to all this. And emotional eating and getting the getting when you get that under control and you learn some techniques on how to handle that and you get group support that's where the lasting changes can really start happening in your life and so that is really what I want for people I want I want uh, people to get um, their power back like I did in my life I that's really the bottom you know if you were to ask me my why from my story yesterday um, that's really what it is I want people I've been in the food industry long enough, 11 years in the organic food industry. Um, my natural tendency towards nutrition, I saw what it did in my body before with the, the negative way to lose weight, the not so good way, and then the way I did it after my diagnosis was night and day. I saw the power in that. And then um, leaving a difficult situation in my life gave me my power back also. So that is really, I think, the core of where I'm coming from. And I want that for all my clients so um, and everyone I work with. So that's where I'm coming from. So if you know anyone that just would like to learn how um, to get off, that, get off the diets, get off the yo-yo dieting, and really just make some healthy, lasting lifestyle changes, that's really what this is all about. So... Um, invite friends if you want, but stay tuned tomorrow at 6 and go ahead and share your ideas along the way, okay? And, and share your whys and whatever you've been discovering. I, I hope it's been helpful. All right. Um, if not before, I will see you guys tomorrow night. All right. 
Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. And I got to find out how to turn this off. <laughs> I got to take this off, I think. Bye, guys.